Well, the term chronic Lyme disease has been around for a much longer time than post-treatment Lyme disease. That's a relatively newer term. Another t and there's many other similar terms. Uh, another term is late-stage Lyme disease. Now, post-Lyme, post-treatment Lyme disease means that there's been some degree of treatment, although it may be variable, and there's a lot of unknowns with that because some people have been treated for maybe a very brief course of antibiotics that's been insufficient. Other people have had a significant amount. Some people there's a true recovery and other people there may not be. So it's confusing because of the, it's a very mixed heterogeneous group. Now the concept of chronic Lyme implies that there's not two things. There's chronic symptoms as well as chronic infection. And that's what the issue that some people debate. Everyone has a consensus that there are chronic symptoms associated with Lyme disease. Not everyone who has Lyme disease has chronic symptoms, but some people do. Many people do. Now then the question is, is there chronic persistent infection? And the problem there is related to testing. And how do you assess if there's chronic Lyme present or not? Now there's 700 journal articles documenting the validity of chronic Lyme disease. There's about 300 specifically on that. There's over 300 looking at psychiatric symptoms associated with chronic Lyme. There's symptoms associated with congenital. There is articles associated with congenital Lyme and articles associated with Alzheimer's associated with it. So there's a large amount of peer-reviewed evidence supporting the validity. There's animal studies, there's over 100 autopsy studies showing people, there's a case of Vicki Logan who had months and months and months of IV antibiotics and on autopsy there was Lyme in the central nervous system. So without a doubt chronic Lyme disease does exist and we have to recognize this is a very complex organism and when it is chronic you can see it persist in spite of significant treatment in some people. In other people, it seems like it can be treated and doesn't become chronic.